Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Reignited and we're still on Spyro 1 and we're going to do Icy Flight. Now there's a trophy in this for not touching the ground. I'm going to try and do this on my first run but um, if you don't get it on your first run just complete the level as normal and then when you do a second run you'll be, the, also the, the clock as we've seen in other episodes will be counting up rather than down. So you'll have all the time in the world. Um, I can't quite 100% remember this one. So, oh, we've touched the ground already and we're in the water. Never mind, we'll start again. It's, it's a fun one, but it can be pretty tough. And I don't quite remember the route, but you can get loads of time. I'm just gonna try and get the lanterns first. Come back to this area in a second. I usually do it in a slightly different way, but I'm just conscious of landing. We're actually just going to go back the other way now. Back the way we came. We've got plenty of time. This is a bit more of a safer way of doing it. Um, there is much quicker ways of doing it than this, but this is just to make sure that I'm being very safe. Can't get the chest. Bang the head. Can't understand where the last one is. Ah, oh, okay. Well, let's try again. Okay, now we've had a run. Let's try and do it the way that I usually do it, because that just didn't work. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go, just got the chest this time and we'll get the lanterns this time as well. So yeah, it's a much safer route, uh, just doing it the way I was trying to do it, but um, this will just make sure you've got the time. Get these guys first. We should have three of those so far. That's all the barrels. And the last guy, there we go. And that's the trophy. Now, it's, now that you've got that trophy out of the way, you can go back and do that a little bit quicker and just sort of tighten that up. I'm not going to try and do that um, any faster than what I did, um, just because I wanted to get it out of the way. We'll go and do Jacques now. So let's go over this way. Ignore these, and we'll go this way. Yeah, I'm not going to try and kill enemies now for lives or anything, because we have 62. Technically could get to 70, that would be amazing, that would be unbelievable. Uh, so there's a trophy in this level, 
um, and also a skill point for getting jacks perfect. The trophy is for killing four enemies in a single glide. Um, if you fail it, you can just die and try again. We've got the life to do that, so but I'm going to try and do it on my first run. Um, and that's not until quite later on in the level. Um, yeah, lots of nightmarish creatures in this, this level, especially enemies wearing pink dresses. But whatever is your fashion sense, I guess. Um, so we're just going to jump up here. There's a lot of these fools in this level as well that manipulate everything. Whoa. Alright, okay. So we're not going to progress any further. You can see that this fool's running around here and he's not really going to manipulate anything. He actually manipulates something on the other side of the level. So we're just going to get him. And then quickly get this guy to raise this platform. Again, don't worry too much. And you see this platform here is now down. That's the first fool's manipulation. Then uh, you can get the, the platform will raise back up. So first dragon. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. So this is the area with the um, with the four enemies that we have to flame uh, in one glide. You can see them sat still on this pedestal here. It's quite tough. We'll give this a go. Nice. There we go. So that gives you that trophy done. Um, if you just follow that. And we can go on now to complete Jax. Shach. Jax, whatever his name is. Um, there's just a few more bits here. There's this guy that needs to come out to release that platform to this platform. Oh, I might not get this. Oh, oh that was so close. Okay, sorry about going a little bit quiet there. Just uh, need to concentrate through that area, but it's all just standard stuff that you've done already by now. Just using the falls to get up to higher le ledges. And we picked up a key as well to open this chest here.
Ooh, missing some gems. Okay, we'll worry about that in a second. So, dragon. Any advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life. But watch out for flying boxes. <laughs> uh, huh? I have no idea. You've got to watch out for him throwing boxes at you. And when he stands on one of these boxes, you've got to hit him. You've got to hit him three times. There we go. And he's running off. There's your skill point. Yeah, if you're just quick, you can get to him. And he drops some nice treasure. And then some more treasure here. We are missing some gems. Gonna have to go back and find them. Oh, I hope it's not back on that other platform. Oh, treasure chest. It's in here. Okay, cool. Great. Alright. We're just going to exit level. I'm not going to go to the portal. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> Dodge all the enemies. All right, so next time on the uh, on the playthrough, we'll do Dark Passage, It'll be the first of the three amazing levels in this world. Join me then. Take care. Thanks for watching.